Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial. I am Jessica, also known as Jelana or Akiva. Um, this is the last part of the Get That Guy into Real Estate Agent tutorial series. Today we are going to add our rank insignia shadow around here. We add the background and some shadows and highlights just as we need it. So first we are going to add the background. I already opened the file here. Since this guy is a teal color, I want to have him a number of 6 bay. I'm just going to press and control A to select everything, and then control C to copy. And then make a new layer at the bottom here to control V, paste it in. We can also go to the picture, right click, duplicate layer, and then choose the file here where you want to put it in. That can come in handy if you need the background into the same position as it was in the original, but in this case it doesn't really matter. So now we are going to move the picture so that we are happy with it. So something later I want to have this headlight here in the picture. You have to watch out that the fire beds in the background are low enough to make sense. You can of course resize the picture too, but actually I don't want that in this case. So now that we have the background inside, let's add the next part, the rank pick. I'm going to the top here and I'm using a file that our very own Yoon has shared with us a while ago. That was the file she shared. As you see there is still some kind of uniform here behind. So I erase that with the layer mask here. Same as usual. You can see that in my other tutorials. Now we're going to duplicate that into the tutorial file. I did this with that method because sometimes when I do it without, it only copies either the layer here or the mask. So to make sure that everything goes over, I'm using this Okay, um, now I'm zooming closer, um, I'm doing that with Alt and the mouse wheel, you can also go to this little zoom tool here and click on plus with that, doesn't really <laughs> matter, whatever is easier for you. Now we see that these are way too big, and that means you will have to resize them. The thing I like about these pits is that they are really high quality because most pits that we find out there on pictures are very pixelated or the colors are washing from the color into the pips and stuff. So I'm using these and apply layer mask so we have only that left. Now to make sure that the quality doesn't get lost when I'm making those smaller. I'm going to right click here and no, not here, right click next to the picture, not on the picture itself and go to convert to smart object. Now if your um, Photoshop is older and it doesn't have that, don't fret, it's okay, then you might not see the loss later anyway, I'm just a little bit anal about that stuff. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to either view transform or transform scale. I use the um, view transform usually because it can make I do all these things here. Um, it's a different piece, but for now I'm doing scale because we only use that. Now hold down the shift key to keep the proportions. And then see what works best with that corner. I think this side is actually okay. As you see, it looks like it's floating on the color, and we don't really want that. So, I am going to 
choose blending options and drop shadow this shadow doesn't work firstly the uh, light source comes from up here the shadow goes in the wrong direction so we are moving this here the end of this line is where the light source are or is so light sources are on light sources <laughs> and then i'm removing um, the make cursor here make him a bit sharper by reducing the size there we go this is much better sometimes i also um play with play with the opacity here to adjust the um, shadow so the shadow is always in the picture so this should work now this for me personally is still a little bit too distracting it's too bomb in your face you know so i'm going to use the saturation make the clipping mask remember that we hold down alt and go between those layers on this line so it only affects that layer it's clipped to and then i'm bringing the saturation a bit down make it a bit darker and that is much better so i've changed pixels you can see this i think it's a little bit big so i'm going back to resizing this just a little bit Now in this case we have the luck that the shadow on the uniform here is already on the right side so we don't have to fix that. The light comes from here, that's fine. We will have to add a shadow on this side and some highlights in the hair too. We're going to do that in a moment. First we will add the shadow from the color because as you know shadows go colors without it looks like it's pasted on which it is but we want to avoid that look so let's go in a bit make a new layer between uniform and head and make the clipping mask so it affects only the next one and i'm taking a brush a soft one here the soft edge and i use black there are people who use the burn tool for that i don't like that I don't have that much control over it so I personally draw with black and then use the opacity and some um, blurring to make it easier I make sure that my soft edge is giving just a hint of shadow here if it is too much as it is right now I'm going to lower the opacity and then we have a nice color shadow since the light is behind us we want to have a little shadow in the color itself as well so we go and add a layer above the color clip it to the uniform and then we are doing the same here we make it careful little squish of the color increase the opacity a bit and there we go that looks much better now doesn't it um <coughs> after that we want to add highlights and adjust the picture so it fits into the background the first thing you do is sometimes you have these little thin lines at the top here by the side where we use the layer mask so first i check out which layer it is that makes the line which is the face in this case which you see only when the line vanishes when you disable the layer so go into the layer mask pick a nice black the normal brush go over the edge here and it's gone i think that's fine so <coughs> now what we do want uh, want to do first is to make sure he looks like he belongs into the picture now in photoshop go into that is called um, match color first i put everything that is not background into a group let's call them character and make a backup copy of that 
so we have one we can use later to show you a different way now this is first merged together so we have everything on one layer we go to image adjustment match color and this is really nice you choose your source because we want to match him to the background in the same file we choose the file we are usually working on and then the layer this is layer two here so we choose layer two now this looks awful <laughs> but you can really play around with the fade a bit which means it's kind of like the opacity of the effect so if you fade it completely it's gone if you fade it nothing at all it's completely covering the character so i'm playing with it to see what looks nice and this looks actually pretty nice you can also make it brighter or darker i like to keep it where it is in this case um the other part was to play with saturation just making the colors stronger or lighter and but i'm happy with this so this is one way to do it the other way let me take let's disable this um because we will need it later the other way would be making another backup copy merging this if you don't have match color you can go to image adjustments i choose with hot plate with hue saturation and brightness and contrast you can also do it with these adjustment layers here but if you don't have them in the case of gimp or paint map just go here and for example use saturation you want to take a bit of color out because the background is saturated so you pull the saturation down brightness contrast you can play around maybe it's too bright so maybe you want to lower that add a bit of contrast or take it out so just play around with these to adjust it to your background and make it fit especially when the background is a different color like a bright blue you know that when you see pictures that the background bleeds into the skin and the hair and you really want to show that it belongs into the picture so let's do this one and get the one we worked on before and the last thing you want to do is make sure you add highlights and stuff let me do this quick we make a layer mask here then we use the I want to use the color pick tool here so usually I just go in and color pick the light here you can also do that with while, while you are being in your brushes that is faster by holding down the alt key choose the color and paint where the light will fall like here or here for example and then go in with the blending options you can go check what looks nicer like um, this for example with the overlay you can make a nice effect this is actually interesting when you make shadows so subtracting i'm using normal in this case and pull the opacity down a bit so we have a little of a nice effect here from the overhead light okay the timer is at 40 minutes so i'm breaking this here and show you the rest in the second part which will be rather short then see you in a moment